well as covering all the illnesses which crop up in the neck of the woods. The ministry requests that I spend time concentrating on the efficiency of my drugs. So apparently my drugs aren't strong enough for these sons of bitches. Many complaints from Upsick, the health watchdog. So in order to look good, we must make sure that all of our drugs are extremely efficient. Let's see, keep deaths down. As a hint, we might want to keep space for a free, keep a space free for a jelly vat, which I don't know what the fuck that is, but I want some. Shut up, dog. This ain't for you. Develop all of our drugs to at least 80% efficiency. Get a reputation of 650, $500,000 of cash. Oh, the timers are going. Pause the game and start looking around. Oh, hell, Pat's right outside our front door. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's quite elaborate, but I like it. Now to start building. Of course, we want this front area. Pretty much strictly for diagnosis. Get our first GP offices set up. Wanted to leave a little bit of extra room for the reception receptionist outside. Sticks. Giant nose sticks. We can fit that in here, can't we? Yes. Lol. Couple windows. Probably put the pharmacy next door as well. I think I can cram it in that little area. right. I don't think there's anything I can make three tiles wide. Fuck. Let's take that out entirely, shall we? And yeah, let's put some clinics instead. Or a clinic and a pharmacy. Or like I was just saying, some clinics. I don't know. To be entirely honest, now I feel guilty putting that there because I wanted this to be the diagnostic center. spot open for a GP's office. Those things are really inexpensive anyway, so. Might as well build one now, I guess. just so I know where it's at. Yeah, right off to the side as soon as you come in. Put the psychiatrist right down here.
bin in the trash can and the trash can in a bin or the bin trash with the plant on the floor in the middle of the room words I love words I'm just not very good with them that's a little bit big to be putting in there lol lol this cardiogram room yeah, general diagnostics is going to have to go down here it's psychiatry Cardiogram. the has it right there should be okay That's it for diagnostics. So we've got training, research, all that stuff to do. Buy this wing up around this way, yeah. Might want to put research back here, but Put toilets up here in this four way. Oh well. Lots of windows. And some need training. I do need a staff room up this way. Damn you couches. That's right, we got video games too we gotta deal with. Uh -oh. There we go. Not much room for much for anything else. Let's actually take a couch out. Get a video game up here with a radiator. Skadoosh, there we go.
research and training to be up here. Yeah, I forgot about surgery. <clears throat> Balls deep into this research shit. I make sure to decently space everything, all these desks <clears throat> apart. Violet cabinets. There we go. Ridiculous room, but it'll work. Yeah, they're training to send her. Ah, uh, center for training. <laughs> don't need a fire extinguisher for that room, I don't think. Actually might be efficiency for once or something like that but I heard a word close to this efficiency you speak of faggotry I declare I do want to put a staff room right across from the, both of these places just because I know that they'll be one to take breaks Two probably So at least. A couple Ray Raiders and staff place, relaxation, masturbation center is complete. <sighs> Still need a place for surgery though. We're we'll going this other direction. I'm gonna go this way. And it's not nearly large enough for surgery. Let's go borrow some, I guess. Oh, quite down, bugs. Don't have to put up with your shit. That's right. Okay, fire extinguisher, a couple radiators for this room since it's so large. Bada 
bing bada boom. And we also need that uh, ward in here somewhere. That's good right there. Actually, it has even more windows. Hey, windows good, the fire bad. <laughs> I don't need four bins, goddammit. But it does look cooler that way. God damn it. Go me. Retard mode activated. So let's move those down just a hair. There we go. Much better. Place some radiators between the beds and shit. I don't know how that works, but it does. Put a little pharmacy right here. Huh? Yippee! Already got a reception. Get some benches, drink machines, railroad, some plots. Next psychiatry and cardiogramist. Side of research because I know somebody's probably going to end up getting sent there sooner or later. A nice ice cold Kit Kat there, buddy. I know we're going to want some down this hallway. In that hallway as well. There we go. This looks good to me for now. One guy with research capabilities. Well, more than one, but he's actually way the fuck. Regular Doc will put him in the GP's office. That one Psych. We'll put him up here too. We can have him treat or er, instruct Psych doctors at some point. This guy. Pretty much going to be hiring all the doctors. Get the book learning, you douchebags. I need a nurse for pharmacy and one for the ward. Up here. Aha. 
Hey, man. Need us a couple old guys. Let's brush these brooms around. And the best receptionist. If I can fucking hire her without clicking on her desk again. For purpley do. Let's do this. So the hospital's open. Everybody gets the week. Get all those doctors trained as fast as possible. Which we're going to have plenty of time to do in the beginning. Considering we hire everybody off in a great mood. Wait. Let's move this up to 200%. Okay, so we're not using the specialization. Well, it goes in diagnostics. For now, anyways. He's going to be waiting quite a while. working out quite nice right now he files it's paid get him to wait now we need our psychiatrist Let's uh, get him out here just a little bit. And the invisible man is pissed off and leaving. Poor invisible man. Get our psychiatrist back again, of course. And oh boy, here's the king. We got an emergency, our first one here. Four people with bloody head. We can handle it. Oh, fuck. We gotta borrow more money, though. I forgot to build some clinics. Shit, we better just pause it. Okay, let's raise. Wait. Um, hmm. Well, just a little bit more money. Holy shit, nice. Or that guy, just for bloatiness. All right, this guy to teach. Probably that guy who knows how to do everything. We'll hire him for psych for now. Oh God, here comes the bloaty heads. Can you dig it? And try. That's for goddamn sure. Wait. And what's this? Good, everybody. Fantastic. Everybody's taking a break from class. Oh boy, our 
first pile of vomit on the ground. Yay. Screed itching again. Getting the weight. Serious radiation again. I think I just sent him the research. Yep. I forgot it takes actually, uh, you find that thing quite easily. You diagnose it very easily, but usually you never have everything you need to get it done. That deer did cured. There's a guy with slack tongue. We just need a slack tongue clinic, but we're already out ass loads of money. More research for a research department? Well, who's this? The man who knows everything. Wilford Brimley wants to show up. <clears throat> I mean, Aing Sang Suki. Suki Suki! Suki! You will Suki for five, for five shillings. <laughs> That's all it takes. Oh man, we need a psych down here. Real bad. This guy's good at everything, so go to research. He was a teacher, wasn't he? Fuck, man. Come hither. Fuck that lady. So we had another doc doctor teaching class, which might be the case. He sure as fuck doesn't want to teach that class. Oh, we do have another doctor teaching class. He's right there. I can't see him. There's goddamn walls in the way, as usual. He's fucking around with that bookcase. Chronic nose here. Broken heart. Need some surgeons. There's one. No, I don't want to fire him. I want him to go to surgery. Corrugated ankles. Rez. Ruptured noot. Ruptured noodles? What? Bungee jumping in cold weather. The inability to sit down in comfort. Two qualified surgeons must remove the no noodles. I don't know what the fuck you'd call that. No duels? Oh, no rules. Or something like that. Again, I'm broke. A psychiatrist for psychiatry, please. Where's our psych doctor at? No fucking idea. He's just just disappeared. Hmm. Boy, here's one. Yes. 
Go, Psych Doctor, go! Actually, really good. I think he finished his school working because he's a con a consult now, a consultator. This guy's smoking some crack, ain't he? Not that guy. The other guy. Yeah, that doctor. Yeah, I know you got hairy assitis, but I don't care. I rest some more doctors. is running. Got that whole pregnant issue coming up again. And surgery is needed once more. This guy got kind of booted out of the classroom. Let's put him up there. And let's put him up there. Actually, this guy is going to be the one teaching the next classes. Sleeping illness. Gulf stones. Jellyitis. At first I thought that said jelly tits. Which would have been awesome. The cause. Gelatin rich diet and too much exercise. Symptoms. Excessive wobbliness and falling down a lot. The cure is the patient is immersed in the jelly vat. In a special room for a bit. Okay. That's going to be interesting. Cinema research. Diagnosis. Raises. Lots of people to boy corn. I don't know why this lady's pissed, but she is mad and she's leaving. Get the fuck out of my hospital! Now you're tired, Doc. I need ya. Or not, you can just go to the fucking break room, I guess. You... Handle that room for me for a bit, Doc. For people with sweaty palms, we can handle it. Well, we can't, but we'll try. In the wait. Oh, nice. Oh, well, I forgot about that. I guess the moral of the story is. Don't cut up all your patients in the research department. It isn't good for your reputation. Well, next time, I'll try not to do that as much and just tell them to fuck off and get the fuck off my property or release the hounds. 